so now we're going to create our mongodb atlas account and then connect to the database and integrate it with our application so i have a temporary email right here i'm going to use it to go to MongoDB, mongodb atlas and then register so i'm going to use this email and then some random informations a password and then i agree and then get started free it's going to take a bit of a while for all operations related to mongodb when it comes to creating a cluster and you need a bit of patience you know i've done it just a bit ago just to make sure that uh, everything works fine so um, i know it takes a bit of a while so let's just wait okay now we're gonna need to verify our email we're gonna have an email right here and you're gonna open it and then we're gonna click verify email and now continue okay this is just some stupid informations you're gonna uh, or questions you're gonna answer so um, i'm gonna go build new application then anything and then javascript and then finish and then we're gonna check you know to select the, the free version which is gonna be shared so we're gonna click create to create our cluster now you're gonna you know choose wherever a server is near the nearest to you i'm going to use paris you can choose you know from all the options right here and then you're going to click create cluster and then let's fill this verify and now we're going to create a username uh, we're going to create a user so we're going to have a username and then a password i prefer to just generate a password uh, we're going to copy it later or we can like, have our own password okay and then we're gonna click create user and now everything is done right here now we gonna you know allow which ip address can access our mongodb i'm gonna go 0 .0 .0 0.0.0.0 and then add entry and then finish and close and then go to the databases and this is the one that takes a bit of a time like three to five minutes so you gotta wait a little bit then so now that it's done let's go to browse collections and we're gonna create a database so let's call it for example facebook and then you gotta name a collection inside it so users for example and then create right and now it's created i forgot the password so let's go to if you if you forget the password you go to database access and then edit and you can you know have your new password right edit password and write something new or generate a password like i'm gonna do and copy it and then update users user then i'm gonna go right here and then save the password just right here and go back here then to atlas and then connect and then connect to your application and then copy this and let's go back right here and then let's call this database database url and then equal this and we're going to take the password and you place it instead of the password right here and in my first database you write your database so for our example is facebook whatever you name it and this is the url we're going to use to connect to the database so if we went to a mongodb campus which is i told you to install we can now disconnect so on now let's connect again so new connection and then paste this right here and then connect and then we're gonna get access to our cluster and then our all of databases and we can see all you know changes live right here so i'm gonna go now to the server let me organize thing right here okay this is for the routes and here is gonna be for the database so database so first of all open the terminal and let's go npmi and then install mongodb mongodb and mongoose okay it's done let's go back right here and then so let's require it const mongoose equal require mongoose okay and simply go to here and then mongoose 
dot connect and then we're gonna pass the url which is coming from the process dot env from the env file and it's called let's copy it so we make sure it's right and then we here pass some parameters if you want the one that i'm going to use is use new url parser to be true url parser new use new url parser so you can you can use this to connect and also you can remove this now and get the ability to connect this is the new way that's the new url parser and after this we're gonna go then we're gonna uh, just have a an arrow function and we console log database connected successfully and then we're gonna if there is an error so we're gonna catch it if there's an error we're gonna catch the error and then we're gonna console log error error connecting connecting error connecting to mongodb and you can just show the error right here so now let's go and open the terminal to see if everything working fine as you see server is running on port 8000 and also database connected successfully and database is written wrong <laughs> okay so now let's say again server is running on port 8000 database connected successfully so if there is an error like for let's change for example uh, the user and add like one right here and then we're going to see right now let's go to the server and as you see there is an error authentication failed that's mean there is something wrong so this is the way okay now we're gonna see go back to the server and save all right as you see database connected successfully so this is the way to connect to mongoose or mongodb atlas that was really really simple so see you next